I'm Russ Brayall with Shroud Encounter, and today we're going to be looking at something very uh, unique as it's related to the Shroud of Turin. The name of this presentation is Secrets of the Man Clothed in Linen, looking at the, at the prophetic meaning of the Turin Shroud. Now, the key texts that we're going to be looking at are Ezekiel 9 uh, through 11 and Daniel 12. And we'll get to those in just a minute. Now, just a little bit of background on what the Shroud is, because some of you are saying Shroud of Turin. What is that? And so the Shroud is, is, a, is a burial shroud that has wrapped a corpse, and it is in Turin, Italy, hence it is called the Shroud of Turin, and it's been there for about 400 years. The Shroud is on public exhibition every so often, about about, usually about every 10 years. You can pass through the cathedral and view the cloth above the altar uh, and it would be uh, behind bulletproof glass. You could, you could stay up here for just a couple minutes and then you'd have to move along. Now, this is what the shroud actually shows. Now, if you know, it is 14 feet long, three and a half feet wide. If you look at the center of the cloth and then look to your left, you'll see the front image of a man. Now, the image lies between those two parallel lines, which I'll explain to you in just a minute. So on your left, you see the front image of a man. And so he here we see the, uh, the hair and the face. Moving down a little bit, we see the arms. Moving down a little bit, we see the hands. Moving down, we see the legs, and then, and then blood down here at the, at the far left. Now we go to the center of the cloth again and look to your right, and you'll see the back of the head with apparent blood flows from perhaps a crown of thorns. And then we see uh, the, uh, the back of the man, the uh, shoulders, the back of the legs, and the feet again at the very far right.